Hey what's up guys, this is Joe. Welcome back to my BMNG series. Today we're going to be looking at a couple different vehicles. Um, I found out how to do the slow motion feature so we're going to be playing around with that a little bit. I also want to look at some of the different objects that you can spawn in because I know the giant flail you can have that spin around in circles you can drive into that. There's the large roller that'll spin up really fast and you can drive through it and it'll completely wedge the car in there and destroy it so we're gonna be just driving around a little bit kinda of taking it easy uh, I think we're gonna go up ahead there's a wall and we're just gonna go straight into it I'm going to right before we hit maybe go to a hundred times slower than real time so let's try this uh, alright here we are now before we hit let's just remember what this vehicle looked like because <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be too good oh, <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no let's speed it up just a little bit oh man look at the damage on that that is incredible <laughs> The front end is completely gone. Is there? Is the engine even there? Yeah, it, no, it's there. It's inside. But <laughs> oh man! <laughs> All right, so we have the ramp up ahead. We're gonna go ahead and jump that. And at the last second, I'll go ahead and slow the speed down. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> oh no. Look at it. That is so bad. <laughs> There's not one bit of the car that's not broken. I really wish that more games had the slow motion. I think it's really cool to be able to slow everything down and see exactly what is going on. I think more games should have the slow motion feature just because it is entertaining. <laughs> so let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that will never get old. I mean really, just look at that. That is ridiculous. I wonder, let's go ahead and go into the cockpit view. Oh, <laughs> well, there's your tire. <laughs> wow. Oh, the gauges are all the way over. <laughs> oh, my God. This has really turned out to be one of my favorite games. I love playing it. I love recording it. I love just watching people play this game. I don't know what it is about this game that is so much fun but I will never get tired of it it's it's almost like it's something new every single time you play it it's never I absolutely love playing this game I love recording it I like I absolutely love this game. I love playing it. I love recording it. I love watching people play it. I there's something about it. I absolutely love this game. I love to play it. I love to record it. I love to watch other people play it. There's just something about this game that is so entertaining. I will never get tired of it. It is never predictable. Every time I've played this game, there is always something new there's always a surprise and I love that in a game I hate playing a game and after 10 minutes 15 minutes it's it's all the same it, this game offers so much in such a simple package oh geez look at this this is <laughs> this car crashes really really well <laughs> so I found this semi this is gonna be really interesting I've never played as this before 
so I have no idea how well this is gonna work or even how bad it's gonna work so let's go ahead and slow it down oh here we go <laughs> <laughs> Look at the stacks. They just fell right off. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the cab. Wow. It completely broke the drivetrain, the engine, the radiator. Holy cow. Look, there, <laughs> there it is right there. There's the engine. <laughs> Before we switch vehicles, I do want to see what it's going to be like to ramp this. I, Like I've said before, I've never used this vehicle before, so I don't know how well it's going to perform. <laughs> Man, there goes the stacks again. It's surprisingly, it held up pretty well. I mean, you can see the drivetrain is broken, so it's not going anywhere. But structure wise, it's really not too bad. I'm pretty impressed with that. Alright, it's time for the big roller. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh man! That is complete destruction. The engine block's still good, though. <laughs> wow. I'm going to try this with a couple different vehicles. I'll be right back with you. All right, so here is the street cleaning pigeon. We're going to go ahead and go right through the large rollers, and we're going to do it in slow motion. I'm very interested to see how this is going to turn out. So let's do this uh, slow motion. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh my god. Look. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> oh man, look at that. It completely destroyed it. I don't even think I could have crashed this any better. It has completely ripped this vehicle apart. Wow, and it's still going. Wow, that is really impressive. Okay, so in my last video of BeamNG Drive, I went and used this vehicle and I showed that it does not crash very well. So I'm really interested to see if it'll make it through there or if it's actually going to crumble apart so let's go ahead and try it I'm really excited to see how the oh come on <laughs> I didn't even make it there <laughs> all right here we go guys slow motion oh here we go <laughs> are you serious the the mirrors came off that what <laughs> the tires didn't even pop <laughs> This is such a bad vehicle. I'm sorry. I, I understand that it takes a lot of time to make these things, and I appreciate whoever made this, but holy cow. <laughs> there is, like, no damage done to this. All right, so check this out. I found the cannon. You can actually drive around as the cannon. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, it says press base to shoot. Uh, oh, what do you mean? Okay, we'll retry that. Let's try, let's do, we'll lift it up. 
and then fire. Holy cow! What? Where did it even go? What? <laughs> oh, we have to try that on some vehicles. Hang on, let me set this up. Alright guys, so I got everything set up. I have the cannon all loaded up. There's the cannonball. And then I have a car down range. <laughs> I am really excited to see what's going to happen. I have it in slow motion right now. After we do it in slow motion, we'll go ahead and do it in regular time. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. I am completely shocked at what that did. That is incredible. Look at how much damage it did. I I was not expecting it to be that powerful. Alright guys, so we're going to try this. I'm going to try shooting the cannibal straight into the front end of that SUV. So let's try it. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> wow! Like I said earlier, this game is full of surprises. Wow! Look at the detail of the crash. That is so cool. Alright, I have one more thing that I want to try. Alright guys, so here's what I came up with. I have two cannons facing each other. I'm going to go ahead and fire them both at the same time and let the cannonballs hit each other in the air. I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know if maybe the two cannonballs are going to go flying in separate directions once they hit each other or, I don't, or if they're even going to break or if they even hit each other at all. So let's go ahead and get it started. Fire the first one and then switch over. Alright. Let's see what's going to happen. Speed it up just a little bit. Oh, slow it back down. Here we go, guys. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what? What just happened? They like. They merged into one cannonball. <laughs> what? What is with this game? <laughs> Look at it. It's just. It's a ball now. <laughs> it's one single ball. Wow. I did not expect that. And where is it going? <laughs> I don't know. This game is crazy. Alright guys, thanks for watching another episode of BeamNG. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Let's see if we can get this lined up right. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that never gets old.